for tuning back into my channel, you guys. Today I will be cooking um, a very simple, easy meal. As you guys know, I picked these pork chops up in my haul. And I said I was going to come every day this week to show you guys what I did with the um, with the meals. With the meat and um, other things that I bought and what I was going to make. So, yesterday I did not post, which was a Thursday. I did not post because... I cleaned up yesterday and um, I just put hot dogs on for the kids uh, dinner last night with um, french fries so that's what we had last night for dinner but today we are going to do pork chops with the rice and um, with the rice and that I bought remember I bought three of those so we're going to do chicken rice and with pork chops so I'm going to show you all what I'm going to do so first, start off with six pork chops. I'm just going to go ahead on and season that with salt. Okay. Also pepper. We're going to do oregano leaves. Okay. And paprika. Also going to use one pack of Cesar Gaia, Cezanne Gaia, but I'm just going to put one. I mean, a half a pack first. My don't mind the kids in the background, you guys. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead on and flip that over, and do the same thing to the other side. Okay. Go in with my salt. Uh-oh. Go in with my salt. And pepper. Okay. Oregano leaves. Paprika. And the rest of my pack of say that yeah yeah okay and I'm just gonna massage that together like so okay I know it looked like it's a lot of seasoning you guys but it's not over seasoned trust me it's the saison gaillon which make the meat look red okay so now that I got it like this, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this up and I'm going to come back and show you guys how I cut it up, okay? Okay, you guys, so I am back and I just want to show y'all how I cut the uh, pork chops up. I cut them into little small block pieces like this. So I cut the pork chops into small block pieces. And as you guys can see, I have two pork chops left. I'm not going to use those two because I think this is enough. So I'm going to just go ahead on and bag those two. They're already seasoned. I'll use this for another meal. But I do have this for right now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead on. on I'm going to go ahead on and get my uh, skillet together. And then we're going to go ahead on and um, saute this. Okay. Okay you guys. I got my skillet together. Inside the skillet I'm just going to go ahead on and put one tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, just going to go ahead on and put, you know, make sure the grease is all over in the skillet. Okay. Now we're going to take our pork chop that we cut up. And we're going to put that inside the skillet. Like that. Okay, you guys, so we have our pork chop. 
Now to our pork chops, what we're going to add is one half of onion, a vegetable. Okay. And also to that, we are going to add two teaspoons of minced garlic. And also, we are going to add one teaspoon of crushed red bell pepper. Crushed red pepper, shall I say. Okay. Once we get all our ingredients together we just want to go ahead on and stir make sure we mix all that in there like that okay you guys so we want to go ahead on and saute this um we're going to cook this until our um we're going to cook this until our vegetables get soft and then you want to make sure that your pork chops, is, your pork chop is cooked through through it as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead on and set this on medium heat. Okay, I'm gonna set this on medium heat, and I'm gonna add one cup of water, but not right now. I'm gonna wait to um, all of this stuff dissolve out of here, like the bottom. Wait, we're gonna wait a little while until that dissolve. Maybe about five minutes and I'll come back and I'll show you guys, okay? Okay, you guys, so while the pork chop is cooking, we're gonna go ahead on and start on our rice. So to the skillet, we have our skillet on medium heat. We're going to go ahead on and add two tablespoons Okay, so I'm doing rice aroni. I'm doing rice aroni, and that's the chicken flavor. Um, per box, it requires two tablespoons of uh, butter, but I'm doing two of them, so I'm going to do one tablespoon, two. Three and four tablespoon of butter. Okay. Four tablespoon of butter. And that's just red pepper, you guys, in there from the um, measuring spoon. I'm going to go ahead on and make sure my butter Okay. I'm going to make sure my butter gets all over my skillet, okay? Once my butter is all over my skillet and the butter is melted, once the butter is melted, you guys, you want to go ahead on and throw in your rice. I am doing two boxes. My husband is not home right now. He's at work. So it's just going to be me and the kids that's going to eat this. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead on and saute the rice until the rice um, until the rice turn a golden brown. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and do this until the rice turn a golden brown. We're going to go ahead on and check on our pork chops, okay? Okay, you guys, I am back. And as you guys can see how my pork chops look, okay? See how brown it is? Okay, I'm going to go ahead on and add one cup of water to the pork chops and mix in. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead on my uh, my heat is still on medium I'm going to lower it a little bit and I'm going to put a top on this so I'm going to cover that up and we're going to go ahead and let that cook for about 10 minutes okay okay you guys I'm back and this is how our rice is looking so far as you guys can see it is golden brown okay now remember I am doing two boxes of rice aroni I'm doing two boxes of rice aroni each box requires two and one half cup of water I'm going to go ahead on and put there goes two there go another two okay Okay. And there goes three. Okay. Don't forget to add your seasoning to it, you guys. The seasoning that the packet seasoning that it came with. There go one. Okay, one packet. And there go the second packet, okay? There go the second packet. Okay, y'all. So I'm just gonna go ahead on stir the seasoning in there. Okay, stir the seasoning in there. Okay, so now this is very, 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 very important, you guys. Once it starts to boil, once your water starts to boil, you want to low your heat on low, okay? You want to low the heat on low, okay? Now, to this, you can add, um, like, a teaspoon of salt or something. You know, I'm going to go ahead on and add just a little tiny bit of salt. A pinch of salt and then I'm going to see once it starts forming a boil I'll be back once it starts forming a boil and then um, to show you guys how it's gonna look okay okay you guys so that is the boil that I'm talking about so once it starts to boil low your heat on low okay this is a must low your heat on mo low it don't have to be super duper low um, it can be medium, um, but it has to be set on a low medium, okay? And then cover it up. That's an important thing you have to do is cover it up, okay? And I'll be back, you guys. Okay, you guys, I am back, and we are going to go ahead on and check on the pork chops, okay? So this is how the pork chops look so far. And I am letting my rice, I am letting my rice, you guys, um, simmer on low for about 15 to 20 minutes or until your rice gets tender, okay? So this is my pork chops, and this is how it looks so far. Remember, we have this on low settings as well, okay? This has been gone for about 10 minutes, y'all. And it is cooked. Okay, it is cooked thoroughly. I'm just gonna go ahead on and taste one, see if it's tender enough. Mm. It's seasoned perfect, I can tell you that much, but it's not tender enough. So I am going to cook this cook this continue to cook this until my rice is done so we're going to come back in about 15 more minutes okay so we, don't forget I do have I still have it on low and I'm going to top it back up okay and then I'll be back okay you guys so 15 minutes later this is how the rice looks 
Okay. I'm just going to go ahead on and lower it a little bit more, even though it's on low a lot. I'm going to lower it a little bit more, and I'm just going to go ahead on and stir my rice. Okay. Just going to go stir the rice up. Okay, you guys, so. Okay, so I'm just stirring the rice up, like I said, just to make sure it's cooked all the way and it looked like it is, okay? So, I'm going to lower it on, like, almost off it's going to be so low and then i'm going to just like to warm it just to keep it warm um i'm going to put the top back on it you know because i like to let my rice sit maybe five minutes after on super duper low i like to let my rice sit for five minutes with the top on just to make sure they have hard pieces in there um it turns soft okay so that's what i'm going to do and then we're going to check on the pork chops Okay, you guys, I am back. And this is how the pork chop is looking so far. We still got water in there, as you guys can see. It's not burning or anything because I had it on low. Okay, and that is how it's looking. Let me adjust the camera. Okay. So that is how the pork chop is looking. Okay, and I already tasted earlier. Um, seasoning was fine on it. Okay. So that is how it looks, and I'm going to taste it and see if it's tender. Should be. Yes, it's perfect, y'all. Okay. So okay. that is our meat. And then. Um, we're gonna go back and check on the rice again and just to make sure they don't have any more heart pieces okay I'm gonna do that off camera okay you guys so I am back and our rice set for um, our rice set for five minutes okay and it looked like it is tender everything is right perfect our meat is done now you guys this is just what I do I uh, take my pork chop and I just put it on top of the rice like that. Even with the gravy that was in the, um, with the pork chops. Now there's different ways that y'all can do this. Um, sometimes we eat, uh, sometimes we eat the rice a on the side with uh, the pork chops, you know, on the side as well. So we have pork chops and then a rice a instead of uh, combining it all together. Sometimes we do, do that, like it depends on what I'm cooking it with, maybe some vegetables or something, but with this particular meal, I just go ahead on and incorporate everything together, all the seasonings and everything, and then I just go ahead on and mix that in. I just go ahead on and mix that in, but like I said, there's different ways you guys can do this, okay? But I like for all of the flavors, I like for all of the flavors to, you know, combine together. And y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is so good. Like, the seasonings and everything is just perfect, okay? So I'm going to go ahead on and mix this up, and then I'll fix a plate, and I'll show you guys um, how it looks, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished results of the rice aroni with the pork chops inside of it so this is how it looks you guys and the kids love it I love it it tastes really really good it got a spice like a, a hint of um, pepper in it a, a hint of spice from the crushed red pepper you taste the garlic in it it tastes really really good you guys so this is the <laughs> 
I'm sorry, y'all. I'm looking at my daughter. This is the end results, y'all. So, she's doing something funny. She's so crazy. You want more? Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. So, as you guys can see, it tastes, it was a success because my son, he's asking for more and he do not eat a lot. Okay, you guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Come back and watch more of my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell them. Come here, Paul. <laughs> what you want them to do? To make scratches, make buttons. Tell them what? To make scratches, make buttons. I can't hear you. Oh my gosh. What you gonna tell them? <laughs> he said subscribe and hit the like button, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, say bye. Bye. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to eat. I'm starving. Okay. Have a good day and peace. peace. Oh, bye. Wait. Don't forget to love one another. And peace. Goodbye and peace.